Well, hello everybody. Have you always wanted to know how to use a personal hygiene wand like this? You are in the right spot. Welcome to Toilet Talk, the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. My name is Maria Lindbergh and I am an occupational therapist. Ah! Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you would please um, let me know in the comments below, I have a couple of different brands of personal hygiene wands. Um, they're also called wiping aids, but let me know in the comments below if there's a certain kind of brand. I have considered um, uh, ordering the Buckingham Healthcare wiping aid to show, but you just let me know if there's a certain brand you're curious about. I'm more than happy to get it, trial it, and then show you how to use it. So um, before I demonstrate this to you, when would be a good time to use a personal hygiene wand? Well, if you are having a difficult time reaching your bottom to wipe thoroughly, like let's say you're having a shoulder problem, let's say you have uh, maybe you have a hip or a back surgery coming up where there's certain precautions where you can't bend, lift, or twist your back. Um, this, this can make it easier to reach your bottom to thoroughly clean it. Uh, let's say that you've had a stroke or a spinal cord injury or a traumatic brain injury. There's all kinds of reasons why somebody could use a wiping aid like this to help wipe their bottom easier with toilet paper. So um, those are um, some some things, some good reasons. There's all, all kinds of different ones. If you're not entirely sure if this would work best for you, I recommend going to your primary care provider and getting a referral to see an occupational therapist who can come help you out in your home and figure out the best way for you to wipe. So um, yeah, this uh, personal hygiene wands are pretty popular because they're very inexpensive. I got this one, I think this is the Fanware brand, that's F-A-N-W-E-R, I think it is, but I bought it basically from Walmart for 10 or $12. Um, yeah, let me know, thumbs up or thumbs down if you wanna see um, a different kind of brand, um, like Buckingham Healthcare. Yeah, let me know if you wanna see Buckingham Healthcare's uh, personal hygiene one in the comments, thumb up or thumb down. Um, but uh, we, we've got this one. They're very inexpensive. You can find them online. Um, I, before you start using it for yourself or with somebody else, um, especially if you're a caregiver for somebody else, you may be thinking, oh, that, that's going to help my person wipe their butt easier on the toilet. Maybe I won't have to help them so much. You want to consider is the person you're going to help, are they able to learn new information and are they able to retain new information? You know, remember what and how you showed them. So um, I have tried these with a lot of different kinds of people. I've seen hits and I've seen misses, but this is definitely something for people to think about um, as, oops, I dropped my toilet paper as um, something to go along the lines of cleaning your bottom easier after any kind of accident. So I'm gonna try and be kind of close to you. I'm just taking regular toilet paper. Um, what I'm going to do is count like about, oh, six ply or so, one, two, three, four, five, six little squares. And then what you'll do is when you take the wand, you see it has an opening right here. Um, so for this one in particular, it has a very tacky, I don't know if it's made of rubber, but um, it has kind of a tacky surface that kind of grips on. So you'll stick one end of the toilet paper in. And then what I like to do is I like to loosely wrap around it several times. And then you're going to stick the other end back in the center like that. So it looks like this. Now you don't want to wrap it too tight and have a ton of layers and you don't want it to be too loose because then it's going to fall off and that's not going to help anything, right? So, <laughs> okay. So we want to wipe front to back. So here I am on my toilet. You can see me pretty well. 
you'll kind of want, if you're wiping from the front, you'll want to be scooting back a little bit. And we all know that this is not that kind of kinky show, so I'm just going to be showing you um, just from the side, very family friendly, how you do this. So you're going to take the wand like this. The wand, if you'll notice, it's bent to kind of accommodate my curves of my bottom. And I'm going to take this and wipe front to back. Okay. And I know some people are like, well, it's only good for one wipe. Well, you could turn it around and try to wipe with the clean side, but I, I wouldn't wipe back and forth because that could get bad bacteria into your, your urethra and you could get a urinary tract infection, which you don't want. So make sure that you're using a clean side to wipe front to back. Now you can also wipe from the back, I'd probably scoot up a little bit towards the front of the toilet. And for this, if you have the no twisting in your back precaution, then you wanna be very conscientious that you're keeping your back nice and still and that you're only moving your shoulder back to wipe front to back, front to back. Again, with all wiping, you don't wanna wipe hard. You want to be gentle with your butt, always, always, always. Um, but I would do more of a, not so much a hard wiping, but I'm a fan of doing a gentle padding kind of motion so that you're making sure you're getting the urine, you're getting the feces or whatever onto the toilet paper, but you're not tugging on your delicate booty skin. You got to take good care of yourself. And then basically after you're done using the toilet tissue, you're going to release it either in the back or the front into the bowl. And I'm going to show you up close on the camera how it releases for this particular one. So this one has a button at the bottom. And so you push the bottom down and it kind of moves the, this thing to release the toilet paper. So you see what it did there. And then you can kind of shake it off so that the toilet paper comes off. So let me know if you have any questions about this one. You can put the questions in the comments or you can DM me, I'm more than happy to answer. Um, for these, I'm, I'm glad they're so inexpensive for people to try. They're great for people to take with them outside of the home, like to work or school or you know wherever you're going. But um, for, for these more inexpensive ones, I think they're good for a trial and error situation. So if you're not sure it's gonna work for you or for a family member, it doesn't hurt to try it. The second personal hygiene wand is the Freedom Wand. It comes in this bag. I do like this one the most that I've worked with um, uh, with people in nursing homes in the hospital. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna take it out. I like the pouch because it makes it kind of easier to take out of the home with you as opposed to this one. This one doesn't break down, but this one does. So I'm going to take all the pieces out. You can make the wand as short as you need it or you can make it longer. So I believe the length on this one is going to be um, around like 23, 24 inches. Um, so it has these buttons, it snaps and locks into place. It's made out of plastic, so it's really easy to clean. Oh, I forgot to say, whenever you use a personal hygiene wand, make sure that you are at least washing it off and air drying it or pat drying it off after each use. I really don't want you to get an infection on accident, so Definitely make sure um, if you needed to use a mild soap or whatever with lukewarm water to clean it, that is a great idea so that you don't give yourself a nasty infection. Um, so this is how long this one is. Like I said, you can make it shorter so I could have the fingers come up around here or even, even shorter than that, whatever length you need. Um, this one is special. It has these little fingers that come out when I slide this button up and down. So it grips toilet paper and also like razors, loofahs, um, ointment pads, other things. So this is something that you don't have to use only for wiping. You can use it um, for shaving, shaving your 
legs. You can use the loofah to get your back and your bottom. So it's pretty nifty that way. It also has this hook at the end or this thing where you could hang it on a hook. So in your bathroom, you can put a hook next to your toilet, in your shower, so that you could easily store it upright there. That's not too bad. Um, with This is an extra thing, but this is a strap for the handle. So if you have a weak grip, this is a really good idea to put the strap on to help you hold the personal hygiene wand a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. This strap is, uh, it's pretty flexible. I'm not sure, it has to be made of some kind of, I don't know, neoprene or something like that. But anyway, so there, there's the strap. So look, I can't drop it, ah. So with this, this one, the toilet paper will be put on differently than the first one that I showed you. Um, with this, I think you could take about the same amount of toilet paper. You could take the, I'll just reuse the one I had last time. You can take, this is about six square, six ply of toilet paper. I don't know if I'm using the word ply right. Is ply the thickness? Anyway, six squares. And what you'll wanna do is you kind of fold it in half a little bit, um, just a couple of times, and you'll pinch the bottom of a corner so that you make a little palm like that. And then you're going to put the little palm into the fingers like a so and pull it inside. So there, there is the toilet paper and the wand. And just like before, I will show you. So this is a lot of length for me. Obviously it's curved to accommodate um, your belly and your bottom, those kinds of things. Um, but I'd probably make this a shorter length for me. Actually, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna make this a shorter length. Okay, so I have it about like there. And so again, you'll wanna scoot towards the back of the toilet, give yourself some room to wipe front to back, front to back. Again, I would use a <laughs> clean side of the paper. Don't keep using the, the same dirty side of the toilet paper so that you don't give yourself an infection on accident. Um, so you'll go front to back, kind of in that same like um, gentle padding motion. And then from the back, you could do the same kind of thing. I'm gonna switch my grip here. So you do the same kind of thing if you have the no twisting precautions in your back, make sure just to move your shoulder. My bottom is towards the front of the toilet and I am wiping front to back like that. Front to back. So, and then you can throw it away in the, with obviously a lot of wipes, we got that. And uh, let go of the toilet paper in the toilet. Uh, just go ahead and release it with the fingers there and voila. Um, I know um, the uh, maker Deb, Deborah, who made Freedom Wand, she encouraged people, you can go ahead and make a bunch of toilet paper palms ahead of time so that you're not having to make um, you know, multiple little palms while you're sitting on the toilet and she has like these little like plastic bands on them. Um, so that is something you could think about doing in the future. But other than that, that is how a personal hygiene wand works. Um, I, I, in another one of my toilet tuck lives, I showed you how to do this with one hand, using one hand to put the toilet paper on and everything. Well, hey Deb, how are you doing? Um, yes. And, uh, let's see, where was I going? Oh yeah. Yeah. So this is nice to use if you only have the use of one hand, you can put it between your arm and put it on or in between your legs, you could do that too, one-handed. So um, if you'd like to look at that video, you could just scroll through my uh, stuff or let me know, I'll give you the link. Um, but like I said, there are different kinds of personal hygiene wands as well. Um, there's some that have kind of more, um, oh, what's the word, where they kind of act like this, more, I'd say uh, the Freedom Wand is more unique with the fingers. I don't think there's any other ones with fingers that push out and then retract back inside the wand. 
Um, but anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Next week, I will be showing how to use a portable uh, bidet. So stay tuned for that. And if there's anything that you would like to see in the future, how do you use this? How do you do that? Any kind of question at all, please contact me. I love showing you guys how these things are used because I think it is so helpful when you're able to clean your own body and take care of yourself and be the boss of your butt. So I'm so happy to see you. Thank you so much for coming and watching today. And I will see you next Tuesday at 12 Central Standard Time on Toilet Talk. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care.